Today I'm going to show you a pretty cool little bracelet. Uh, I haven't named it yet. Uh, not really sure if there is a name for it. I think I saw something about Fiber Bar as being the name. Don't think that that's the right name for it. But anyways, got six feet of royal blue here, six feet of neon green. I've already attached the two and put it through one end of the buckle. So right now I'm just going to basically put this buckle here and pull this nice and straight through so it doesn't have any kind of twist to it. And it just twisted there, so let's do it like this. There we go. And I'm going to put one down through there on the right and one down through on the left. And I'll just pull these through. So that's going to give me the base of the bracelet and there you go now this is when you want to measure the circumference of the wrist you're doing the bracelet for and you're going to measure from the edge here down to this edge right here right below the whistle and that's going to be you want to add about a quarter inch to a half inch just to give you a little play maybe a little more depending on which one you're doing okay now to get this started you're going to go with the left one. Actually, you're going to make your, your paracord look just like that. <clears throat> and uh, you're going to go under the green, or yeah, under the middle, and through this loop here. So you're going to have something that looks just like that. Now you're going to do the same thing with the right side, but instead of going under, first, you're going to go over first, and at the same time you're going to intersect with the green. So the easiest way to do this is to just go straight down through the green, and then through that loop, which this, oops, I got my car cord hooked around me, there we go. So you're going to end up with something that looks just like that. i get down close on there so you can see it. There we go. Let me make sure I'm in focus here. Alright. Now I'll just pull this tight. It's just going to get tighter and tighter as you work on it. The first one's the hardest just because the you, you don't want to lose where you're at on the length. Alright, and then uh, this is where you want to check your length again, just to make sure that since you did this knot here, your length hasn't changed at all. Alright, so you're just going to keep doing that same pattern. It's real simple. This is one of the easier, easier ones that we've done. So go under, under the middle and through that loop. Keep that loop there, and then you're going to take your blue, you're going to go through that loop, around the middle, and through this loop. So you're going to end up just like that. Now that's going to be the same thing every single time. Real basic. And what you want to do let tighten this as much as you can so you have a nice solid looking bracelet when you're all finished. I try to do them as tight as I can unless the uh, unless it doesn't call for it because the tighter it is the less movement it has and they just look better when they're all nice and tight. Um, Alright, so we got one under, through, Leave a little bit of loop, go through, you're going over and then through, and then come up through there. And get this little twist out of here. There we go. Thank you. 
Now what, what you want to look for too, you can tell if you mess up real easy. If you mess up, it's not going to go like green, blue, green, blue, green, blue. You're going to be like green, blue, blue, green. So you'll notice right away if you mess up something. Do one more. Under. Through. Oops. Just do it like that. This one's going to go down and through. And I'm going to finish this bracelet on up. I'll come back and then show you how to cut the ends off. Finish the bracelet so it doesn't unravel on you. And that'll be another bracelet completed. I think this is my, uh, I want to say this is the 30 second video I've done in about a month and a half. Just cranking these things out. Really appreciate you guys watching them. It makes me feel like uh, somebody's getting some use out of them. But yeah, let me finish this up and I'll be right down back. to the bottom now. It's getting a little harder and harder to uh, to get these uh, cords through the centerpiece here. So I'm pretty sure I'm going to have to start using uh, the pliers here in a minute. As you can see, I flattened these out, so I'm going to have to trim these up just so that it gets through there a little easier. bracelet this is this bracelet's going to want to try and twist on you as you can see it's already started to curving that way so as you go you're going to want to as you're tightening this you're going to want to make sure that it's straighter it'll get even worse on you i had one of my uh one of my fans one of my subscribers uh sergeant rock I've been messing around with the lighting in here, and I think I got it to where it'll look good on your on your screen. Um, basically, I just took two lights off of my uh, my setup here. Usually, I have four lights going, and I, I think it was just being too it was just getting too blinding um, when you try and watch it on TV or uh, <laughs> when you watch it on your computer. It was just too bright white, so I'm I'm back to incandescent bulbs, which give more of a soft white and that daylight color. I still got them though, so you can you can see the difference there. That was just one of them. Alright, don't know if I'm gonna be able to get this up through there without, uh, well maybe, let's try. It's gonna be the last one if I do. Yep, got it. Alright, so that's gonna go through there. I caught on something. I'm going to try for one more. I think I can get one more. Alright, this is where the, the players come in. So you just put it the opposite way you want the pair of cord to go. Grab a hold and pull through. And this one. This one's going to go from this side. And also, first, I need it to go through this loop.
There we go. That'll be the last one. I get this tied up. Sorry about that. It took a little longer than I thought it would. Oh, we got a little tangled one or something. There we go. Alright, so that's the last one. Now all you have to do is, just like normal, just cut the ends here. Quick snip there. It's kind of hard to see the flame with this light. Actually, I can't see the flame at all. I don't, I don't know if you can on the video, but maybe it's just because it's real low. That was definitely there. Ouch. Right. This side cut. What a world of difference a pair of good scissors make. Turn this up. Oh, okay, now I know why I turned that lighter down. <laughs> it's got quite the flame there. Okay, so there, there's the bracelet. It's all finished. You might want to go ahead and maybe finish this off with a one more pass and fill that little gap up there, but overall it, it, it turned out pretty good decent. I always do my bracelets a little small just for demonstrations. It still gets the point across, still looks good, still looks like a bracelet, so we're all good. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. Thanks for watching, and that's uh, video number 32. Thank you.